Hi, in this video I'll show you how to draw experiential learning models in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The experiential learning model you will learn to create today looks like this. Now, at the face of it, it might look like a simple circular process, but there is a different technique that I used in this particular graphic which I wanted to share with you. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to a new slide and I'm going to draw a circle. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up this tool called as Oval Tool. Now let me draw a big circle here. And I'm going to go to Shape Fill and say No Fill. And go to Shape Outline and use black uh, color for the outline. And maybe if I want, I can always increase the weight of the outline to four and a half points. And now we have the basic circle ready. Now I'm going to pick up these various um, labels here that show the various stages of the cycle. So I'm going to select all of them, press Ctrl C to copy, and then press Ctrl V to paste, and I'm going to place them along the oval. Let me move this slightly up so it is a little more spread out. Now the technique is you go to Auto Shapes menu, under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up this one called as Isosceles Triangle and I'm going to use this as the arrowhead. Now I'm going to go to Shape Fill and say the same black color that I have for the outline here and I'm going to remove the outline. Now the arrowhead is ready. I'm going to make a copy of this arrowhead by holding the control button down and I'm going to move it to its new location. And I'm going to hold the rotator handle here so I can position the direction of this uh, triangle and then I'm going to place it here. So now I have my first of the circular process uh, represented here. I'm going to make another copy. I'm going to hold the control button down to click and drag this to its new location. And I'm going to use the rotator handle so I can point it to the exact position that I want. Make sure that the tip of this uh, isosceles triangle touches the line and that is the reason and that, that is one thing which will ensure that the arrow looks far more natural. I'm going to do the same thing once again. I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag to its new position, hold the rotator handle and move it to its new location. The benefit of doing this using uh, the isosceles, isosceles triangle is you would be able to position these arrows exactly the way you want. If you were to create the same graphic using the arc tool in PowerPoint uh, Auto Shapes, then you will see that there is a lot of alignment issues and it in general is a very painful thing to do something like this. This is a very simple way to create your circular process diagram without much fuss. And unfortunately, not many trainers are aware of how to create this. And that is the reason why I thought it's a good idea to share with you. It is a simple trick, but it's a golden trick. And of course, the rest of the stuff like drawing these uh, lines and creating this rectangle uh, triangle are all very, very simple. All you need to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up um, the isosceles triangle and place it here. And then go to the lines tool, pick up the arrow tool here and then from the center, you draw the arrow and then keep continuing with the rest of the stuff. I'm not going to teach you all that stuff because it's very, very simple. So that is how you complete the graphic. The real trick is how to create uh, the circular process using the oval tool and the isosceles triangle to create custom positions for these arrowheads. I hope you liked this simple graphic that showed the experiential learning cycle. There are different models for experiential learning cycle and I'm going to show you the various examples from our complete trainers bundle. This is a simple three stage learning model which talks about planning, doing and reviewing. And this is one of the options available in complete trainers bundle. This is Kolb's experiential learning cycle. You can see that there are these four uh, stages of the learning cycle. And this one is experiential learning model shown in a different way. And this one is about four stage experiential learning cycle, which talks about the four stages. And once the cycle is done, you can see that there is a transfer of learning, which is represented by way of this arrow here. And this one is echo model of experiential learning. And you can see that this graphic is really attractive. And these kind of simple little tweaks that you make, make your slides really stand out and makes your audience want to know how exactly you've created something as beautiful as this. And this one is Curry's onion model. 
This is an onion diagram that I have uh, created using smart art graphic. And this one is learning styles of group. And this one is format model or format model. As you can see here, the graphic is fairly involved. If you were to create this graphic from scratch, then you'll be wasting hours trying to get everything in place. And that is why using good PowerPoint templates like the one in Complete Trainers Bundle is such a big time saver. Your presentation looks as if it is done by a designer studio. And this one is a variation of format model, a simpler representation of the same model. And this one is a variation of format model with different questions and different uh, points to explain. And this one is PATH model to improve training and e-learning. And the reason why I'm showing you these various models is all these types of models are already available ready-made in our Complete Trainers Bundle. In Complete Trainers Bundle, there is a separate section called Models and Frameworks, which has a massive collection of 446 models and frameworks of every industry and every type imaginable. So if you want a model or framework created, either it is already there in Complete Trainers Bundle, or you can always tweak one of the frameworks that look very similar to the one that you want to create, and you can make the adjustments in a matter of seconds, and you can create good looking models and frameworks in a matter of minutes. If you're a trainer or a course creator, this Complete Trainers Bundle is a no brainer because it's going to save you hours every time you create your presentations, and it can serve for a lifetime. You can find more details about our Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description area below this video.